Hey, what's up broadcasters? Today, I'm gonna walk you through our Stream Diagnostics tool, which is an excellent way to monitor the health and status of your broadcasts while you're live. We'll get started by firing up a broadcast. So I'll just set it to begin right now and then set it to private and we're ready to go live. So before we hop into the diagnostics section, I'll show you some fun things happening on this page. First, you'll see the status bar, which will notify you if there are any connection issues with your encoder. It'll also tell you when the stream is preparing and when it's live. So this is a nice thing that kind of hovers over the player at all times and you can use to check in on the status of your stream. If you look to the right of the player, you can also click on the source you're streaming from. And this will give you some additional details about the status of the stream, your connection type, the IP address your encoder is using, and your video input and the streaming profile. So basically your video input is the signal your encoder is receiving from your video source, and the streaming profile is the resolution and frame rate that you're actually streaming at. Okay, so now we're live, and I've got this amazing video looping of a dinosaur following a man on the beach. And um, shout out to the internet for, for this one. Now, if we click on the Diagnostics tab, you'll see we get some real-time information, including our broadcast's bitrate, the frame rate, and any alerts. So if you have poor network health, or something is wrong with your video signal, or your stream is interrupted for whatever reason, you'll be notified of that here. You can also check show graphs and show alert history to see more information about your broadcasts. And here you'll see a history of any warnings you may have gotten. Below that are graphs where you can monitor your bitrate throughout the broadcasts, along with the frame rate and any packet loss. Packet loss occurs when something on the network prevents video and audio data from flowing in your stream. You can use this graph to see when those instances are occurring. These graphs are really nice because you can see timestamps of when problems actually occur, which you can use to help diagnose issues later on. More data is always better. So I'll go ahead and end this broadcast. And now that it's over, you can see I get an overall broadcast health rating and an average bit rate for my stream. Now the broadcast health ratings are based on several factors, but here's a gist of what they mean. Five stars means the broadcast quality was great and there were no alerts generated during the entire broadcast. Four and a half stars means no critical alerts were generated. Four stars means there may have been some alerts, it may have gotten a little bumpy along the way, but the overall average bit rates and frame rates were good. Now if you get one, two, or three stars, it means the average bit rates and or frame rates were lower than needed for the video quality that you wanted to stream in. So if you're seeing these ratings, you may wanna work with your IT team or your internet service provider to try to get a better network connection. Okay, folks, well, that's it for me. If you'd like to take a more in-depth look at all the ways you can monitor your broadcast from our platform, please check out the blog post in the description. And if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below or hit me up at techtips at boxcast.com. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.